Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here at St. Stephen Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend daily meaningful moments with the Master. Thank you for joining us as we continue to explore this powerful thought. It's a powerful point to ponder, and that is God orders our steps. We sang that song in church. It's a powerful song. In fact, we sung it at St. Stephen's this past Sunday as part of the invitational selection. The last selection, uh, the singers at St. Stephen's sung was order my steps in your word, dear Lord. And we sang that song because it's a biblical song. God has promised to order our steps. We are told in Psalm 37 verses 23 and 24, the following, the steps of a good man, a good person are ordered by the Lord. God has promised to order our steps. And that word ordered literally means God is the God who sets us up, orders our steps. But once God sets us up and orders our steps, it is up to us to move our feet. Can you think of some times in your life uh, when God, you know, sets you up, opened up a door, ordered your steps, made uh, a circumstance available to you, a blessing available to you, but for whatever reason, you didn't order your steps. Well, there's no need in looking back over what did not happen, especially since God is the God of new things. God has given you a new opportunity to get things right. But the lesson that we learn from the past is that when God does order our steps, it is critically important that we move our feet. Look at what Psalm 77 and verse 19 says. It says, your role through the sea, talking about the children of Israel, how God got them through the Red Sea. And there was a path when they were facing their Red Sea, there was a way out that it says no one knew was there. Moses didn't know it was there. Joshua didn't know it was there. Caleb didn't know it was there. Aaron didn't know it was there. Moses' sister Miriam didn't know it was there. But God knew it was there. And there are some paths that you don't know that God knows. In fact, God might be right now setting some things up for you as you're praying and trusting God and ordering your steps, setting up some situations for you. And then once God does that, then it's your responsibility to move your feet. Now, one of the reasons why we don't move our feet is because of fear. God sets us up. We don't move our, our feet because we are afraid to step out into the unknown. But listen, when God orders your steps, you move your feet by faith. In fact, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7 says this, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So many of us, God has ordered our steps and set us up for a tremendous blessing and opportunity. But because it, it requires faith, because we're wondering, well, how am I going to sustain myself once I take this step? It might be that you might be taking a step uh, in your education and you're saying, okay, God has ordered my steps and now a, a door is open for me to enroll in a particular college. Hopefully it's Simmons College of Kentucky. But let's say God has ordered your steps and now you can enroll in college. And you're thinking, well, am I supposed to move my feet? Should I move my feet when I've got, I got to work 40 hours. Uh, I've got uh, responsibilities as a parent. I've got demands on me. How am I going to make it? Well, you make it by faith. You step out into the unknown, even though you don't know what the unknown is. And perhaps the number one reason we don't move our feet is because we want guarantees. We want we want the assurance of of that 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 we won't trip up, that we're making the right move. And God gives doesn't give us that type of assurance. Now, we do have blessed assurance that God is with us, but God doesn't always tell us how he's going to get us through. He just promised to get us through. And it makes sense to me that if God has ordered our steps or has set us up for a blessing, 
then it is a waste of what God has done if we don't step out on faith and if we don't walk by faith and move our feet. feet. See, faith means faith means this. Faith, when you have faith, it means you're letting go of your security. You're letting go of your security. You're saying, okay, God, I'm gonna move my feet. You know I'm out here. You know the waters of the Red Sea are both on both sides of me. They can collapse on me. This thing might collapse on me. And as they moved their feet, God kept at bay both sides of the water of the Red Sea until they crossed on the other side. And if you move your feet, God will keep things open for you and will sustain you one day at a time as you move your feet and move towards your destiny. The greatest example of this is what happens at the circus with the tra trapeze artists. You know, the trapeze, the trapeze artists are way up in the sky and they're on this little platform. And one of the tra trapeze artists grabs that little bar that swings him high. And so he grabs, jumps off that little platform and he swings up into the sky and once he reaches his zenith, his his apex, his 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 peak, he has a decision to make. And you know what the decision is. Will I let go of the bar? And the reason he has to let go of the bar is because there's another trapeze artist who's swinging to get him right on time so that when he lets go of the bar, the other trapeze artist is supposed to grab his hand and take him to the other side. But he'll never get to the other side if he doesn't let go of the bar. So he has a decision to make. If I let go of this bar, how can I be guaranteed that the other trapeze artist is gonna be there to grab me? Well, the only way he'll know is he has to let go and find out. And when he lets go and finds out that other trapeze artist comes, grabs his hand and takes him to the other side. And that's what faith is. Faith is getting off your little platform, knowing that God wants you to get to the other side, move beyond where you are right now. And then once you get to your peak, you let go, believing that when you let go, God has sent something your way to grab you and take you to the other side. And you don't know what God is sending to take to the other side. You will only know when you let go and let God. I do know this, that if you don't step out on faith and let go, once you are reaching your peak, you're gonna swing right back to where you were. And you're stuck right there. You'll never get to the other side. In other words, God will order your steps, but you gotta move your feet. You gotta get off the platform and you gotta get to the peak, let go, let God grab you and take you to the other side. We serve a mighty God, a great God, who wants to do remarkable things in your life for your good and for his glory. Because God is the God that can set things up for you and perhaps is setting things up for you and has been setting things up for you. But only you can move your feet after God has ordered your steps. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, forgive us of indecision and procrastination. We have been saying, oh, I'm going to move my feet towards some project that you put upon our heart. I'm going to move my feet towards addressing an issue. I'm going to move my feet towards fixing some dysfunctional relationships I'm in. I'm going to move my feet towards moving beyond this dead end job that I'm on. And we've been talking about moving our feet, but we have not done it. Thank you for setting things up for us. Forgive us for not having the faith to move our feet and trust you. Help this truth about human divine partnership, God doing God's part and we doing our part, help us to get this truth in our hearts. 
Bless your people, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with me for another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church home, I'd like to invite you to become a part of St. Stephen Baptist Church here in Louisville, Kentucky. You don't have to live in Louisville to connect with the church. Just contact us here at uh, newstart at ssclive.org. That's newstart at ssclive.org. Peace and blessings upon you. Thank you so much for being with me again today. And until we pick up on this theme again tomorrow, don't forget during this COVID-19 season, stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. See you tomorrow.